Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu allen Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum hier vom Chateau de Colombe äh, in saint Baudel. Äh, diese Woche haben wir eine Lieferung von äh, Little Green Company, das ist äh, Farben und, und ähm, Tapeten aus England bekommen. Und wir sind hier in unserem Petit Salon äh, äh, und wollen euch das zeigen, was wir hier mit vorhaben. Salut à tous, bienvenue à Genève de Chateau de Colombe. And now to our English speaking friends. From around the world, mostly. Welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. <laughs> yes, and today we are in our petite salon. Yes, I don't think we ever filmed here. I'm not sure that we ever did. Uh, maybe oh, the walkthroughs, but we didn't actually film in here. Right. And so th this salon has gone through <laughs> many uh, renamings in the last 18 months. It has. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> And the reason why the and the reason why we're in here is because we got our delivery yes recently from the little green company as you can see here and this is one of the rooms that we we actually have everything figured out right we know the wallpaper we yes. chose we have the paint colors that we yep. chose and so that's why we're here today where we're going to share with you what we're doing in this room yep and uh We went through many incarnations, so to speak, of, of this room, what we wanted this to be, what we thought it should be. Let's start at the beginning. that was built in 1750. And um, when we saw the pictures of, uh, it's like PDF, so a lot of pictures of the Chateau. When uh, the real, that the, <laughs> yes, real, the realty the, company posted, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they send us a whole, the four different PDFs, so in the different areas of the Chateau. Right. And this looked very, very blue, so we always called it the Blue Salon. Right. Uh, most all rooms, except for maybe the kitchen, all have wallpaper in the chateau yes. even hallways have wallpaper and i think we were, one thing we were surprised at was there were rooms that we thought were painted that when we got here we found out that it was wallpaper well and there's one thing i need to just put in here and i maybe i digress i don't know but having said that so in a chateau you do not have flat walls you don't so People who take down wallpaper and just paint it and then your chateau looks like it's a flat somewhere in London. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. Chateaux are not supposed to look like an apartment somewhere in, in Soho or right. in the East End, West End. I don't care. Or even the British countryside. Right. Uh, that's newly built. No. Chateau and, and most manor houses in England do not have flat walls. So, right. We so uh, took taking. Well, Frauke took the wallpaper down here. She did, and that was from. Oh, that was a, a last year. that was a last year visit that she yeah. took down the wallpaper in here, <laughs> and it was uh, like we said from the photos that we had from the realtor. It looked like it was blue wallpaper. Yes. And then uh, when you actually get here and you actually saw it, it is actually was a green wallpaper. Yeah. And the no. paint, the paint that's in here, that's the, with the doors and the trim, is all uh, shades of a light green, uh, probably faded over time. Yes, it's like a grayish green, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting here; it's lovely. And so then we finally, uh, when Vincent was here from the green company, we finally decided on a color scheme mm -hmm. and the paint that we need to go with it, and that's behind us. So th that this is our wallpaper. Right. And funny thing is, is that it's not as if we specifically were thinking, you know, it was a green room, we're gonna make it green again. Nope. Not at all. This went through so many different colors choices <laughs> before we got to this. And it just happened to be that we ended up choosing green again for the Petit Salon. Yes, but it, very different green than we we thought we would choose so right. it, it's 
it's really fascinating and we're, we're, we're quite tickled that, that we came to the conclusion we, we came to. And we have on pure furniture in here right now, mm. um, which we know is about 60 years after this was, was built. So this is not going to stay in this room or in the chateau. It's going to go into our next whatever that is that we're building up. <laughs> Right, and then the the umpire furniture that's currently here, uh, the the upholstery is not in great shape, anyway. So. No, it's right. faded. It had um, water damage, and um, you name it, it had it. But it's still, you know, I mean, it, it's still there, and uh, we can sit on it. It's lovely, but it's not going to stay. So when we had had the idea of umpire was. Very much emerald green and and jewel tones. I mean, like very very rich reds and all mm -hmm. that. And then we came to the conclusion that this is not what we wanted for this room. Um, so we have time to reupholster this, but uh, we know what we're going to do with the walls, uh, the molding or the coving, which is right original, mm -hmm. and fabrics. Well, not so much yet. And we have time with that, but everything else we are ready to do. chose for this room from Little Green Company is called Marlboro Earl. It's right up there. Uh, it's very beautiful and we have the three corresponding colors that perfectly match the, the print. And right. can I just really quickly say, Little Green Company does not pay us anything to do this. No. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, they are, uh, we, we do this because we are uh, really quite amazed by the quality of the paint. Right, and they are historical wallpapers. Yes. Yes. So, uh, so this this is for us, um, this is not an infomercial, really, because we, we don't get anything from it, but it is amazing colors of uh, paints and, and it's fantastic wallpapers. So, we have the three corresponding colors and if you look at uh, the, the wallpaper um, at the Little Green website, mm -hmm. you, you, it's, it's Ula, Borington and Pendula? Pendula. It's Pendula. It, it is. <laughs> I got it. Right. <laughs> uh, so th those are going to be our accent colors. They are on the coping, uh, the baseboard. So it, it's doors. Yes. Oh, yeah, those. Yeah. I always forget them. Right. And so, yes, one of the things that we talked about, of course, that uh, took a while to decide is uh, for the accent colors that go with the wallpaper exactly where they're going to go. And, you know, we did, we actually did quite a bit of uh, research on other chateaux about when they do paneling, about if there's two-tone or three-tone colors in paneling, you know, how they apply the colors, yep. where they go on there. So we actually did quite a bit of research, so we knew where what we're going to do in here. Yes. Yes. And that's why we chose all the three accent colors for the room. Absolutely. Right. And it's exciting. It is, yes. Uh, so the other thing that we have is uh, the, there are things that we still need to do in this room before we start to do <laughs> the actual painting and the wallpapering. Yes. Unfortunately. Uh, we have uh, some things that need to be still... The, the room has uh, in the alcove, we had what was called the modesty or the decency door. Right, so that is going to be another episode, probably fairly soon. Yes, where we're going to actually open that up. That was found under the wallpaper. Yeah, we didn't know. We did not know that was there until Frauke had taken the wallpaper down, and all of a sudden, there's you know one of those hidden doors that's right there 
in the wall. So we are actually going to open that up in the alcove. Yep. And then when we wallpaper, we will make that into sort of, you know, a hidden door in the alcove. Yep. And we are uh, in the process of, of searching for appropriate furniture for this room mm -hmm. from the period of Louis XV. So that's going to be really interesting. And we're going to redo the interior of this fireplace behind us. Mm -hmm. So it actually has uh, a tube in the chimney so that we can actually heat this with wood every winter uh, when we want to sit here and it's i mean it, it just it's lovely we're really making some right. significant progress and it's fantastic right oh so something else that you uh, might want to talk about uh, that they might want to know is uh, we got the paint that goes for this room came in different finishes yes and specifically because we have radiators in the chateau Yes. We got a specific paint that is just for the radiators that is in the color that matches this wallpaper. Right, it's a high gloss um, because y when you have radiators, um, uh, the heat will, will attract dust. So it's something that you have to have a more shiny or a, a solid surface so you can wash them down. Right. So yes, so we have that all figured out that mm -hmm. is um, the smoke can somewhere here, this. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, and now we're going to do a little walkthrough. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the Petit Salon at the Chateau. And yes, there is an alcove. It is not a bedroom. It is a withdrawing room in English. Right. For, um, Almost a boudoir, so in, in French it's a boudoir. So it is a room where um, you only had family and very close friends. Um, there used to be a day bed in there mm -hmm. in the old days, and um, so whoever were the owners would could be uh, come in here to just take a nap because their life was tough. I mean, they had all these servants who did everything for them, so of course they needed a nap. <laughs> But, so, this is not a bedroom. Just because there's an alcove does not make it a bedroom. And there are many, many chateaux of this era where you can actually visit and you see this had, this was, uh, yes, there was a day bed, but you also had sofas and chairs and, and people would sit here and talk and, and could have very familiar conversations that you couldn't have in, in the large salon because there were ears that um, were not supposed to hear certain things. Right, right. So, that, that, but this is this room. Right. And we've also seen in other chateaux that one of the reasons why they had a decency door like this in an alcove is because, you know, before plumbing and electricity, this may have been a place where they had set up an old bathtub. We've, we've been on chateau tours before where there were uh, bathtubs you know, lined with linen cloth and they were set up in alcoves, and it could be that, you know, this might have been where whoever was taking a bath would go in, they would change, uh, get undressed, and then they would come into a curtained off area here in the alcove in order to have a bath. Right. And this is, and you know, we are on the, the ground floor of the chateau. Yes. And our chateau is enfilade, which means that all the rooms are lined up all the way down the front from, from one end to the other. So, you know, again, another reason why this would not be a bedroom because you wouldn't have like, you know, everyone walking through your bedroom while you're in here. Right, and, and we have another bedroom, uh, in, I'm sorry, another salon next to us, uh, which uh, was got a wall built into it. So it's now two rooms, but so there was yet another salon. So this chateau had three salons in a row and on the other side, you have dining room, uh, linen room, meaning butter's pantry, and the kitchen. So it, it, it's, it's very much one side is for the family and one side is for dining and the servants. Right. So since we're seeing this painting here, maybe you want to like... <laughs> Stand next to it? Yes, and uh, this is actually uh, an auction item. Yes. That we won that we hadn't shown yet. No. It, it's ginormous. Yes. And uh, I put a bid in. It was 
ridiculously cheap. And when they carried it out, Stuart looked at me and said, I hope that's not for us. But it was. So now that you've seen me, no one needs to see me that long. But uh, we will clean this canvas. Mm -hmm. um, it is 18th century. Uh, the frame is solid oak and needs to be taken care of a little bit. But other than that, it hung in a chateau and it had water gushing down on it. But looking at this, it is so pretty. And I think once we're done uh, removing the old varnish. Right, because it's, it's yellowed quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. And, yeah, it, it's filthy. So, um, and I think it does. It has like one tiny little place that needs a repair, and it's not tear. very small, and it's not that big of a deal. I don't think. No, it's about here. Yeah, and that's that's no problem. We can take no. care of that. Yeah. And uh, so, do we know where this is going <laughs> yet? No, we don't. We, we don't could go right here. It, actually, it it could. And look, there's even a hook up there already. Well, that hook well, wouldn't hold. No. It wouldn't. A plate. Yeah, so it actually, <laughs> pro proportionally, it actually could go here. Or in, in, well, the entrance, in the hall. Right, and so where you saw before the, in our entrance hall, all the, the big area above where Frauke was removing all the wallpaper, mm -hmm. there's, we've got lots of space up there that we may put lots of larger paintings in that area as well. 20, 30? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it, it's quite a, a lovely painting, and we couldn't help ourselves yeah. buying it. Now we also have all the paint for the uh, boiserie or the, the paneling mm -hmm. of the bed and breakfast room. Right. Uh, but we're not going to show that today. No. And that... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're not. So, and, but we, we do have... No, I'm sorry. But we do have... And, and not digressing. And it's right on point. So right. just you know. <laughs> uh, we have the wallpaper. All yes. the paint. Yes. We're almost done sanding every piece of woodwork. Right. And we, we have... will spend about two to, together, at least two days to do filling, filling, filling wood. wood. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a lot and, of and, and paneling and uh, shutters. You name it, we'll fill it. Yes. <laughs> and we have all of the, the, the tiling for the bathroom. We have all those yes. tile already. Uh, so it, we're getting there, but it is, it's not, just a few hours, right? Um, and quite frankly, a lot of the, the renovations we did in the United States, they felt like, oh, good lord, it's so much work. It wasn't. No, <laughs> <Pretty compared. laughs> it's laughable now. It, it, is. it is. So, um, when we got to the point that we thought, oh, oh, I kind of feel sorry for myself, it's so much work. So, now we really truly laugh at ourselves and go. No, that wasn't that hard. But we, we are, again, making progress every single day. So it's wonderful. Right. Right. And so, and we are very happy with Little Green. And, you yep. know, thank you again to Little Green for and for Vincent for coming here and giving us the recommendations that we needed. Now, we did... Yeah. I'm sorry, but we did talk about an announcement for Little Green. Ah, yes. So the Little Green Company is going to open up their first showroom this fall in Greenwich, Connecticut. That means... Uh, soon, th the entire palette of wallpaper and paint right. from Little Green is going to be available in the United States for delivery. So, and so <laughs> there were quite a few comments from the last episode that said, Are they going to open a, a shop? Yes, they do. Mm, they are. Now, on that note, yes. Uh, we will see you on Wednesday. Yes. So, if you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe and it helps us a lot. It does. Yeah. And if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Wednesday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.